Hey family, welcome back to Shadowverse Igni here, and today we're playing Control Blood! Now, I've had a comment saying that I've been playing too much Storm recently, and you should play more Control! So that's what I'm gonna do, and I may have, uh, I may have spent a little bit more money on Shadowverse just to make this deck, considering it's so damn expensive! By the way, this is my own little version of Control Blood here, I don't know if it's any good or not. Like, I've only done a little bit of testing with it, and it seems to win some games. Not really the most experienced with Control Blood decks, especially since today is literally the first time I've played Control Blood in my life. But I've been having a lot of fun with it. I really like the controlling playstyle, and this is more of a concede blood kind of thing. There are variations of Control Blood that don't go for the make the opponent concede playstyle, and that they do a lot of chip damage in the mid game. My friend Steven Oring Snow actually runs a deck that runs like that. But this deck basically just wastes all your opponent's cards and make them concede. That's the goal. Let's see if we can't get a win off on this Haven. Now the problem with this is that we kind of need to mully for Odin, right? That's not very good. <laughs> That's very bad. The Razory Claws I run mainly just to synergize with the Bloody Marys. I don't know, man. It just feels so underwhelming when you're not playing Mary. But look at this Alana and Alana. Freaking suspicious, right? He's probably playing Sarah for some shit. Nobody plays Alana as their deck cover if they're not trying to juke someone. Alright, so he's playing the Arya. I think I just put the Hedonist here, straight up. And then Dire Bond is such a good card in the early game. Draws you lots of cards, and basically... That's it! Like, if you can survive, the damage it deals you, it's so good. So he actually is playing Alana. I thought he was just trying to juke me. In that case, it's really good that we have the Bahamut in hand, right? At turn 10, if we can survive that long, we can just clear his board. Which is nuts. Really hoping to get Wardrobe Raider sometime soon, though. Because the, the Evolve on Wardrobe Raider is pretty good, too. Except against Alana, it's not even that good, right? Because Alana buffs the minions so far above the threshold from what Wardrobe Raider can do damage to that maybe it's not even good. Two Alanas. Alright. I just need the Baja to come down. I need to survive for Baja to come down, and that's it. Do I just play straight up a Righteous Devil as a 4-drop, and then go face? Straight up. I think I will. Be I have to get Board Presence on, because his Arya is going to activate this turn. And then he probably just has like a shit ton of heals in his hand. So I need to get some Board Presence on so I can trade with something. So if he has like Monastic Healing, Monastic Healing, or even just a Radiance Angel here. So Monastic Healing into Monastic Healing into Rabbit Healer. Wait, Rabbit Healer, you can't do that. So, Monastic Healing into Healing Angel, maybe? That's definitely an option that he can play here. And then I have the Righteous Devil Evolve. So I have another Righteous Devil in hand, which is why I wanted to play one out of... ...out of my hand just then. Just to get something to contest on board with. And that's fucking scary. That's one big tiger. Hot damn. Hot diggity damn. Tiger's bloody huge. <laughs> Surviving to 10 is very important. Is the wardrobe raider just good here? Or should I cockatus? No, cockatus is so bad, right? I mean, it gets rid of 8 damage on board, but he still has, what, 6? And then he can buff a lot. A lot. Wardrobe Raider gets rid of... I mean, the less minions on board, the better when against Alana, right? At least that's the theory. Kinda sad we didn't draw any of our Revelations. Revelations is really good in this matchup. So we can just clear clearing their board. That's very valuable. Getting the wards up with the Queen Vampire is pretty much necessary next turn, I'd imagine. Like, I don't think I'm gonna have enough breathing room to play Righteous Devil Evolve. Razory Claw, although I might. Lost in ones. So this guy's gonna get fucking huge. And deal 10 to face. And he's gonna trade here. I really need Revelation! I really need it! I have three in the deck, come on! Come on! Work with me here. Please. Man, I won't even be able to get it off because of this Blair Ron's gonna heal me though. It's kinda sucky. Mary. Not quite what I was looking for. Yeah, the Queen Vampire into Queen Vampire is just necessary, right? 
I just need the wards on board now. Otherwise, I'm gonna get fucking bodied. I think I even need to kill the the six six off. If I can stall this tiger, that's what I need to do. Next turn, I need to caucus that probably. But if I can stall it with these wards, then that's good enough, at least for now. I don't think he can get through these. He has to play a famus to get through it. He doesn't want to do that. Not with this kind of situation. He knows he has me on the ropes if he doesn't. If he doesn't Themis here. So he needs to just go through these wards one by one. Black and Scripture, Black and Scripture would fucking suck. Don't do it. Yes! That's good! That's good. Now just don't... Play anything. <laughs> and we'll be all good. Rabbit healer. Alright. That's actually fine. Because now I can Cocktus Razory Claw and clear his board. For just that little bit longer. I can Odin one of these Ilanas if I have to. I'd rather not have to though. I'd rather play the Queen Vampire Evolve Demonic, and that would be better. Or the Righteous Devil even. So Righteous Devil Evolve Demonic would also be okay. Evolve Demonic Razory Claw might be good too. Because I really, we're almost at ten. If we can just get to ten, his Ilana game plan is screwed over. Curate. Honestly? I think I owed in the Curate. What if I just stall him? What if I just stall him with the Queen and the Hedonist? Is that good enough? If this is Alana Seraph, then I need the Odins, right? It might well be that. Like that's I've seen that on ladder before. It's not unheard of. In that case, Queen Vampire evolve hit with Razory Claws better. What if I evolve the Righteous Devil? Kill the curate, heal her four. Then I can play the demonic. I can play the demonic here. And I can still kill it with the Razory Claw. Oh wait, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> I completely forgot about the Bane effect. Like I said, I don't really have that much experience playing Control Blood. This is literally my first day playing it, so bear with me. Just bear with me here. If I can get that Bahamut out, that's all I need. All I need is to stall. And saving the Odin just in case. If he evolves this and hits it into the 3-2, that's actually fine by me, because then I can play Temptress Vampire and heal 5 and kill the Olivia. And an Olivia and not evolving the Olivia is so weird. Like, I feel like they have to do it. <laughs> yeah, Olivia and evolving Olivia just go hand in hand. Now I can play the Temptress Vampire, heal to 19. And then the Bahamut comes down and completely ruins his game plan. I mean, I needed that revelation a while ago, but we ended up making it work without it, which is fine. Okay, <laughs> this is why you run the Bahamut. This is why the Bahamut is necessary, and I'm only running one, I think, but I've, I'm thinking we're going up to two. Earlier versions of the deck that I was testing ran two, but I felt that it was kind of unnecessary at times. I feel like one maybe just be enough. He's honestly probably going to clear this Temptress Vampire. He's probably going to play something. The Beast Call. See, that's kind of unfortunate now, because if I Bahamut this... It doesn't feel very good, does it? Dude, I don't even need to Bahamut here, right? I don't even need to Baha. I can just do this. And then go face. If he has a board worth Baha'ing, I'll Baha it, but with three- with four amulets on board, I don't really care. 
He's gonna draw a lot, though. Another consideration is just straight up to Odin, the sacred play. That draws valuable. But I'm still... I don't think this is Seraph. I don't think this is Seraph. Not from what he's played so far. I've seen no Sister Initiates. I've seen no Healing Prayers. So I think this is just pure Alana. There's the Themis. That's unfortunate. That's fine. If you think about it, there's only two minions on that board. Look at you. You're hurt. Okay. That's not a problem. Not really, anyway. So if this is not... If this is not Seraph... Is it okay for me to straight up just Odin this Beast Call area? I think we'll save that. I think we'll save that. We can Odin it next turn. Worst case scenario, it pops off, we play Baja. We don't even need to play Odin. Just keep it in the wings. Just keep our tools in the wings. We want to concede him out of the game. I don't care about this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't freaking matter. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Because, like, what are you gonna do with that? You can evolve it in trade, I guess. Go for it, man. Bloody go for it. He has a lot of freaking steam still, though. Look at this hand size. Those sacred please, I'm telling you, they're more valuable than you think. Deck of 15 and deck of 22. I still have a lot of cards. I have a lot of bloody removal, too. If I feel like it, I could just Revelation Unica next turn. Not even deal with this crap. But Baja is very likely. Baja is so likely next turn. I'm probably going to play Baja. Yeah, keep playing minions, please. Baja is very likely next turn. Do I play the Revelation? Will he think that I don't have the, the Baja? Can I juke him? The question is, can I juke him? Let us revel. No! I think I can. Or I could play the Queen Vampire. Unica. But I don't really want to flood the board. It makes it Baja worse. And I'm definitely baha next turn. If I do this, I think he'll think that I don't have the Baja, and then he'll flood the board. I mean, his board will already be pretty flooded. But I don't want to flood my board with Queen Vampire, because I'm going to play Baja next turn anyway. So let's see what he does. So with 10... He has 10 play points. Scriptures me. Do you have any heal? Do you have any heal is the question, right? Rabbit healer. Baja Inc. Evolve this probably for face damage. He thinks I don't have the Baja because I played the revelation, but you're so fucking wrong, mate. You're so freaking wrong. And now I even have the Mary Dyer Bond combo, which is actually nuts. Deal six and then just heal and draw and draw and draw and heal and draw. Insane. So that Baja devastated that person, this, this, this opponent's Phoenix anus, which is nice. Absolutely devastated. Yeah, there's no way this is Seraph, unless he just really got unlucky and got none of his draws. So this is perfect. Deal six damage to their face. And just start drawing. Unfortunately, I couldn't play two Dire Bonds there. Could you imagine? Could you even freaking imagine? Probably gonna evolve the Odin and trade here. Or play something and then evolve it. And then trade. If he doesn't have Seraph, then it's good for me to just Odin. That, uh... That diddly-do. Beast Call Aria. Or... Or, it might just be better for me to save the Odin for a potential third Alana. This game goes long. This is a long matchup. He has not been able to kill me. Let me He's healing. That won't kill the Bloody Mary, though. You were done for. 
I will not kill the Mary. What is this? What? Sure. Okay. Let's draw some cards. God knows I need it. Ooh, damn! That's a good one! I even have the Olivia, so I can Olivia evolve now and just start trading some more. This is a long game! It's been like 16 minutes! Lucifer. I'm not actually that afraid of this. I can Odin this if I want, right? I believe we can trade here. Over so soon. This is a bit of an issue. Harry. Ooh. Ho ho ho. I need to kill that Lucifer though. If only I had the um. Yeah, I've only had an evolve point for this wardrobe raider, so I guess I'll play the Olivia. A new world is our desire. Lucy has to die. You I can't leave this up. This blade, you're mine. I can't leave that up. There's no way. You can do nine to face and then four after? That has to die. Now he has six on board. I can play wardrobe raider vampiric kiss to try and stall. Wardrobe Raider is really good against this board now, because I can Wardrobe Raider basically kill everything. If he doesn't have more Storm, then I think I'll be okay. In before surprise Gilgamesh. <laughs> that would not be a ride. That priest is not scared the sh at me at all. He didn't even attack with that! He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't want to get me to... He doesn't want to get me below 10, I guess. Mistake, I think. I guess he didn't know that. Witness the freaking power, man. Try this on for size. Dead. 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 Do I want to even vampiric dire bond here? I mean, like, isn't that kind of dangerous now? Let's play the bite. That's fine. Oh, it's fine. If he trades Papa Banish into it, I can kill it with a bat. He's only played one black in scripture, right? Or did he play two? This game's gone on so long, I don't even remember anymore. This has been a long damn game. Holy shit. Alright, we have ten play points, as we've had for the past five million turns. So what can we do in response to what he's gonna do? Honestly, I have no freaking clue what he's gonna do. Just heal. He's scared. He's shook. There ain't no such things halfway crooks. Do I even want to draw extra? I ended the turn by accident, by the way. That was a complete accident. <laughs> what? I did this and I hovered up and then it ended the turn. My bad, my bad. Sometimes touchscreen controls on a PC port screw me over a little bit. Whoops. That could be bad. I really want to play the Unica down there, actually. But he could always have second Themis. I have to be careful, at least. Me? Really? Could have been a blessing in disguise. I gotta be careful of flooding the board. So he could have answers. Become part of me. Stop. Joy and grief me. I don't need to... I don't need to evolve anything here. I don't care if he kills a bat. Problem is, if he Themis is here, yeah, that's what I was thinking was gonna happen. He was waiting for me to flood the board so he could Themis. Well, we know he doesn't have Seraph. That Matriarch's pretty good. It's a good minion to have, at least. I'm not gonna play this Dire Bond. Seems like a recipe for fucking disaster. Do I even need to evolve this? I was thinking of not doing it, but I think I will. I think I will. I have Odin to remove literally anything. I have Revelation to remove a board. 
I don't think I need to play Dire Bond still. I can fatigue him out. There's his third Themis already. And plays nothing. It's fine by me. Could have a second Lucifer. That's actually a potential thing that he could have. But Revelation takes care of that. Let's just play the Odin here. We, if we can just fatigue him out. He has five cards in the deck. This game has gone to fatigue. Or almost. Curate. Just to save his ass. Yeah, not quite enough though, is it? He has four cards. I need to survive for four turns. I think I can do that. I think I can do that. Kind of feel bad wasting that Odin though, but to be fair, I have another Odin in the wings, right? And I only have eight cards left. So if I can fatigue him out, I just win. Lana's doing nothing. <laughs> Even have the Odin. This game's going to freaking exhaustion. I've never had this happen before. That's fascinating. Why should I care about this dog? Why should I care? I didn't just revelation this. If I so choose. I don't think I even need to. I don't even need to. I literally just have to wait until he dies next turn. I just pass the turn. And then he dies the turn after that. And I have Revelation to deal with his board. Is he insane? <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll just pass. <laughs> wow! This game actually went to freaking exhaustion! To the death card! Oh, he's killing himself, Sudoku. Rip! GG. And that's why it's Concede Blood. <laughs> Oh, that was a long damn game. Uh, like the video if you did, don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Shadowverse in the very near future, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.